Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video I will show you guys that how you can refresh your data in Tableau. So actually in this video I will give you two examples. So the first example will be that suppose if you link your data with uh, Tableau and after that you updated your data uh, in two forms. In So first thing is that how you can link your local data to Tableau and then if the data got updated how you can update it and later i will also give you an, another example second example in which i will show you that if your cloud data got updated uh, how you can uh, update it in tableau 2 and how it can impact your visualization in uh, in tableau so let's uh, start with this first example so this is the US data set that which I will be using in this video game. I have used this data set several times before. So here I have different, uh, actually this is a census data for US only. And we have about 50 states of USA. And then there is a region variable which is dividing the US states into four regions. So what I will do, I will just uh, for, I will sort this data. I will go to sort and then it says sort by region A to Z. Okay, so now you can see that we have four uh, regions north, central, northeast, south, and then west region. And then I will now what I will do, I will import uh, this data into Tableau first. I will go to my this is the Tableau shortcut that I have in my laptop. So the tableau is loading for me it may takes one few seconds so now i'm ready to import the data into my data set is in excel file so i will say excel and uh, my data is in here so this is the data that i have shown you guys i will open it up So this is the data that I have just shown you guys. So I will go to sheet one now and suppose if I want to create some visualization. So let's see if I want to create uh, uh, plot some data points on the map. So let's see. So you can see under my country variable, there is only one value, which is USA. That's why it's showing me just one point. But let's say if I add state variable two. So now you can see it's showing me that I have the data for, for the different states. But so suppose you're working on your data set right now. And as you can see, the data is coming from your, uh, from my local drive or from your local host. But suppose if someone is also manipulating or editing the data in the backend, how you can update this visualization based on the updated data. So what you will do, suppose if I go back to my Excel file, which is get linked with, so suppose uh, someone from your office deleted all the uh, states from the North Central. So I have about, I have about uh, 12 observation which uh, states which are from north central so suppose if i delete those observations delete it and now if i save it and but your data set got updated whereas your tableau is still showing you the, the, the results based on your uh, previous uh, data sets so if you want to update uh, your visualization or your working in uh, tableau based on the updated data set if you come here there is an option us census written down here uh, under the data tab so if i right click it there is an option which you can see refresh data so if i refresh it say yes so now you can able to see my all north central state which was previously in the data are now not shown in my visualization just to uh, again if i undo the changes if it allow me to undo uh, my changes that i have done so now i have north central states back in my data and now if i again refresh my data let's see what it will do so if i do refresh 
here you can see that there is no north central uh, states available if I say yes to refresh it once more so I think I have to open it up again so in this way you can see that how you can refresh your data set in tableau in my second example what i will show you guys that uh, uh, how you can link tableau to uh, cloud database so i will just close this thing uh, tableau window and i will link open the tableau again for my second data set but in this time i will uh, link tableau with a cloud database so here in order to cloud database there are different options what i will do i will link uh, with google sheets and i will sign in yes i will allow tableau there's very few steps that you have to follow i'll go back to tableau and this is the auto data which i want to connect with tableau let's say connect so you can see that this auto data set is about the cars and the makes so let's go if i do some visualizations over it so suppose if i create a variable create a table uh, based on make and and i add i want to see the prices of each make so you can see that we have different prices of uh, different cars and if i want to label it on the show so you can see this uh, observation AMC Concord have the price of ten thousand dollars. But suppose if someone update this observation back in my cloud database. So if I open it up and if I go to my drive, Google Drive, so I will go to my Google Drive. I will go to my auto data set which I link with uh, Tableau. So suppose if I update the values here. So if I make it instead of price 10,000, if I make it 12,000. And now if I go back to my visualization which I have created, it's not yet updated. But in order to update it, I will again right click it. I will say refresh data and now you can see my price got updated there is an other way that suppose you are done with your visualization so suppose uh, what I will do uh, if I go to my file and if I say save to tableau public and saying what do you want to name it as book one I say save it so it's creating a kind it's saving my work on tableau public and it will create a pop-up which will be a, a web link for me which you, i can easily share with my other users too but suppose if you are done with your working and you have already created a link in tableau and then you if you update your data usually what tableau do is keeps on checking your changes in the data after few hours but suppose if i make if i want to see that uh, is there any change happened or not so suppose if i make it back to uh, ten thousand, and now i have a link here it's not get updated so suppose if you have the link and you want to see that the visualizations are updated according to the new data or not you can scroll down here and here you can see that there is an option edit details I'll go to edit details and here I can as you scroll down there is an option reset here so if I click it here and if I go back you can see now the value got updated according to my new data which is 12,000 and now you can also see 12,000 here so in this way you can also refresh your data uh, refresh your visualization even once your data get launched thank you for watching the video